guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the long-ish awaited Chris summer Christmas inspired makeup tutorial. This is by far my favorite makeup tutorial that I've done on my channel. So if you want to see how to achieve this look, then please keep watching. So first we're going to start off by moisturizing our lips with the Maybelline Baby Lips. I will try and change that up. I see I have been using it a lot lately. Uh, you can really use anything you have on hand, even um, any ordinary lip balm. Now I'm going to, I think I primed my face before I filmed the video. And now I'm going straight into my foundation. And this was taken a while ago, so as you can see, I had been into doing my foundation before my eyes, but now I do my eyes first and clean them up and then do my foundation. So I'm just blending that in with a black top, around top kabuki. And, and now I'm just going over that with a beauty blender just to give it a nice blended, uh, flawless look and to pick up any excess product that may have been left behind. Now I'm going to prime my eyelids with the LA Girl Pro, Long Pro Concealer in the color Nude. I'm pretty sure that's Nude. Um, yes, so I'm just going to blend that in with my finger and then I'm going to set it with a stark white powder. I first set the brow bone and then I set the rest of the lid so that it does not crease and so that all our eyeshadows can have a nice clean canvas to be applied to. Now I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Long Up. Uh, damn it, Mac. Now I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the color Fawn. And I'm just going to use that to highlight underneath my eyes and the bridge of my nose, my forehead, Cupid's bow, as well as my chin. Just to give a nice light from within when we're done with our makeup. And to conceal any unwanted spots. Then I'm just blending that in with my Real Techniques sponge. Real Techniques sponge. Now I'm going to take this Yardley Absolute Transparent Powder. And I'm just going to use this to set my concealer and I'm just applying it with my beauty blender. Just, um, this, I'm baking my concealer to ensure that it doesn't crease and that it is flawless and stays on the entire day. Now, as usual, in every other tutorial, I'm going to take that yellowy uh, eyeshadow and I'm just going to use this as my transition color because I just love how easily it makes all the other eyeshadows blend out and it gives a nice smooth gradient when we're all finished with everything. Now I'm taking this uh, second darkest brown. And I'm just gonna apply that on my in my crease and above my crease where I applied that yellow eyeshadow. And I just I always use these colors. I just love the effect it gives at the end of the entire eye look. It's just so pretty and 
flawlessly blended and now I'm taking that gloss, the darkest brown in this palette is not that dark actually but in the palette it's the darkest brown and I'm just using that exactly where I put all the other three but this one is more in the crease than all the others. Now I'm going to take that guavery color on the corner because I wanted a little bit of a pinkiness to the eye look and I'm just applying that all over where I put all those other eyeshadows just to give it a tinge of pink so that the gradient looks pink in all. Now I'm going to take that purple color and I'm going to use this with a crease brush from Nail Techniques and I'm applying that directly into the crease and then I'm going to take a blending brush and blend it out not too far up above the crease but I am going to blend it out so that there are no harsh lines. Now I'm taking this uh, Meat Mad Nude palette and I'm going to use that brown over there. It's a very muddy brown. It's not actually not even muddy. It's a very dry sand brown. So you can use any brown at the end. This palette is called a Mac Garcia. It's got like a tinge of red in it. Now I'm taking this nude dude palette and I am going to use sexy which is a cranberry, a deep cranberry. I'm just gonna put that into the crease and blend it out so that it's nicely blended with all those other transition palettes. Now I'm going to take this uh, Carmella Professional palette and I'm going to use this pinky, it looks pink on the camera but when you look at it up close it's a pink eyeshadow that has reflexes of pink of uh, purple in it and it's just really stunning it almost looks like it's um, duochrome I know MAC has a pigment almost like it it's really stunning and I I've tried to apply it with a brush but I got more product and more pigment with my finger so I use my finger instead Now I'm going to dust away all that powder that we used to bake our concealer. Now I'm going back into that new dude palette and I'm taking sexy again. I'm just going to run it along my lower lash line just to kind of connect the eyes and make them look like one which I really love. I love the effect it gives when you put eyeshadow on your lower lash line. I'm going back in with that Meat Matte Nude palette. I'm going to use that same uh, MAC Garcia color which, as I mentioned before, is just a nice, almost cranberry brown. Now I'm taking this Eligo Nude palette, and I'm taking that the deepest brown in the entire palette, and I'm just going to run that along my waterline as well. My lash line, low lash line, actually. It just gives the eyes so much depth, and I'm just running that along right into the crease as well, my upper eyelid and now I'm going to take the Inglot gel liner in the number 77 and I'm going I'm so glad I used a different brush in, while I was doing this tutorial just to show you that if you find the right medium to work with and the medium that fits you that you feel most comfortable with you can use any brush and you can ace your winged eyeliner because you're so comfortable with using whatever it is it could be felt tip, it could be liquid, whatever it is you're most comfortable with, use that. And you're going to have to try them all out in order to find whatever you're most comfortable with. So in this video I use a liner brush. Um, usually I just use a Maybelline brush that I got with the gel liner that I bought from Maybelline. But this tutorial I used a different brush and I'm really glad. 
so that I could explain and tell you. I wanted to do a separate eyeliner video, but yeah, we didn't get to that. Now I'm gonna take this LA Girl blush palette. Um, it's the glam one, and I'm going to use the bronzer in the palette, and I'm just going to contour and carve out my cheeks so that we look chiseled and slim. I'm just contouring my cheekbones, my jawline, and I'm going to slim down my forehead as well. And I'm just going over it with my powder brush so that the contour doesn't look too harsh or anything. I didn't want any harsh lines with my chiseledness either. And now I'm going to take that same bronzer on a different brush. A tinier brush, a tiny version of that big brush. And I'm just going to use that to contour my nose. Now I'm taking this Essence So Glow Highlighter. And I'm going to use this as my inner corner highlight just to make your inner corners pop and to make your eyes look slightly bigger and more awake. Now I'm taking this LA Girl Blush Collection palette and this one is in the shade Spice and I'm just going to use the blush. Um, I use the lightest blush in the palette and I, I love it. It's so brighty and it's just such a pretty pale pink. I just love it. Now I'm going to define the shape of my brows with my Estee Lauder brow pencil. I think it's it's a do it's a double ended pencil. I know it's a double ended pencil. It has black on one side and brown on the other side. You can use any pencil and I just run my spoolie through my eyebrows when I'm done so that they don't look too harsh. Now I'm taking this MAC highlight, well actually it's a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and this one is in the color Global Glow and I just, I, I, was, at, I was at MAC just now and it's so similar to Soft and Gentle. It's basically the same. So this and Soft and Gentle are definitely the same. You can check it out for yourself as well. Now I'm taking this Essence Big Eyes Jumbo Pencil. This is just a new pencil and I'm using that in my waterline. And this really does make your eyes look absolutely massive. So if you really love big eyes and your eyes are really closed, I would recommend you use a newly white skin tone colored pencil in your waterline. And then I just coated my lashes with a thick layer of Essence Princess Volume Lash Mascara. It was my favorite at the time until I got the L'Oreal Telescopic. And now I'm just lining my lips with the Davis pencil. This is in the color or in the number 023, so just 23. And now I'm going to go with my lips with Honey Love by MAC. And I'm just putting that all over my lips and I'm going to blend it out by. pushing my lips together. Now I'm going over that with this MAC Dazzle Gloss and this is in the color Richer Lusher. It's just a nice gorgeous corally color. And this is the end of the look. I really hope you guys liked it. This is definitely my favorite tutorial on my entire channel. It's so bright and peachy and vibrant so I really hope you guys liked it. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did and definitely subscribe to know when I post another video. And I hope I see you in my next video. Bye!